love you. This is where I question whether or not she's lying to me. Before Michael comes up and we show you the best and worst of last year, I just want to show you some things I got in from Urban Revivo. Now, I have partnered with them before, you know that, and you lot love the pieces that I choose. And this, honestly, I think is probably the best that I've ever picked from them thus far. Fashion brand that's been around from since 2021, like pre premium, like fashion forward kind of clothes. In fact, there's a piece here that I know I'm going to be wearing during the fashion week. By the way, I had no idea that they have 300 stores worldwide. Did you? news to me and they have a recently opened one in the uk so is there an affordable way to get the look of like designers or ins inspiration but without breaking the bank i'm going to show you these pieces i got really quickly and tell me if you can see the one that's going to be the one that i wear during fashion week so i started off with these pants trousers are gorgeous they're like long culottes they are like tailored fabric have a look on the side here because they're wide as well they look like i'm wearing an ultra long skirt that's the vibe it's giving but it's a culotte and i love that because that's really chic and i'm just wearing with ballet flats this is the cut as well pockets the belt loop as well so just really well made trousers it's just perfect easy to wear and i paired it with this jumper ribbed and it has this gold button details on the cuff and look how long the cuff is by the way the way it sits you know how i talk about my long arms and how it's difficult to find things that go up to here the gold button details again just thin enough that you can tuck it if you're looking for pieces like for like work or something i would definitely get these for starters but this is gorgeous and also with like a boot i feel like this is what i've I personally knew urban revivo for which are these well-made tweed jackets the gold buttons and the weaving this is like perfect to wear with a pair of jeans by the way just this i mean i don't need to you already know how these kind of jackets look i think they look at their best when they're dressed down if you don't have this yet for work i don't know what you're waiting for this would pass any smart office and there's one more color of this look at the details look at this oh, it's giving rich auntie vibes the blue is going with the blue of my jeans this is so chic and look, look at the shoulder look at this but if you can see the detail of the weaving timeless as well oh look how it's cropped look at that i love how cropped it is on the back wait till you see this denim jacket i think it's more of a shirt can it do up at the top? Of course it can do up at the top. Look away, it nips in. And look at the sleeve. And it's got a cuff to it. Look at the cuff. Can you see it on both sides? I mean, the quad... Urban, what is going on with you guys? How come you've just become... Look, look at that. Look at the, the seams here. This is like a high-end, Japanese-esque type of denim. And I'm wearing it with the same long trouser-like culottes. But with any of your trousers looks way more expensive what i will have a code for you as well the lines on it the way the buttons are covered all these like seams it's the architectural cut it's done for you this cardigan black one signature large statement button look at this beautiful again the material of it it comes out and then it goes in i'm wearing with the same gray culottes which i really love it's a simple cardigan but you can wear it as a top and i'm wearing like just a simple bra top underneath but you can obviously wear one that just goes down or just wear like a really pretty lace bra i think this is perfect for something like that oh, i'm gonna spin it around hold on love it i personally like them with wide legged jeans or like a maxi denim skirt or a maxi skirt a leather skirt or a faux leather skirt a midi and this on top so chic denim blazer same urban revivo you know the knit top you saw with the gold buttons and just a pair of like jeans in my wardrobe for the arms again the sleeves long i have long arms right here there's slits on both sides tuck it's thin enough so you can tuck inside like jeans skirts 
That's what I like about knits like this. I need knits like this actually, because bulky knits are difficult to wear. All the knits I'm showing you here, you can wear them under all your denim jackets, denim blazers. So look at this combination. It's almost giving like 70s vibe with the jeans. <sighs> I told you, I told you this is the best I've had from Urban Revival to date. Look at the print on it. And it just gives the illusion of what you want it to give simple black bag this is what you wear evening out date night going to a special event the dress that you can just put on and you know you're going to get a wow with the this is so chic do not tell me it's not it hugs in all the right places like i said and it looks gorgeous this is it from close up so you can see all of this is intentional this is all these marks here are part of the design this dress is the definition of chic. It feels like a linen, like a like a thick linen. I think that's the only way to describe it, but it's the cut. Now, I, you never see me in dresses like this, where it's high, high neck, yeah, but I rarely have my arms. It's ruching detail to the front hip bone, and then the material here splits off, so there's more fabric on this side. It's, it's such a, oh my God, and I'm wearing it with a simple boot. This for the office is chef's kiss. You could do this, this combination of just doing the classic tweed like jacket that I told you about earlier, a match made. Wow, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I, it's like an insult, it's like I'm saying I'm shocked that it's this good, like I didn't expect it to be this good, but I actually didn't. The way this goes in and out, it has like kind of, I don't know why, I think it's because of the linen material and the fact that it's neutral. It kind of giving me like Jacquemus vibes. I could even imagine wearing it to like a chic event. Clutch in hand, done. Big bag, going to the office, done. I don't even want to stand back. It's... Oh my gosh. And it has pockets. This is gorgeous. Do you know what? God, this in the height of like a nice warm spring and look at the back never seen a denim dress like this before it, i love it just with a pair of flats a pair of oh this is absolutely gorgeous it looks like built-in brooches or statement earrings just attached showstopper i love this dress simple heel or like a higher heel because it's a long dress right or you can just wear it like with flats Thong sandals, uh, spring, summer. I could roll it up and take it away on holiday with like a nice big hat, a big straw bag, oversized bag. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, the pièce de résistance. <laughs> yes, I got these. I was shocked when I saw that they had these. I was like, I'm gonna take these. Let's point to them. Look, they are super comfortable. I'll let you know below in the description box what size I am in these. The last piece. When I put this on, I went, wow. Look, this, I can't speak, it's so good. This design, no one's gonna know where you bought this. This looks like a designer piece, absolutely sick. The quality of the fabric itself, can you see? Tight rib, look at the structure. The quality is insane. There are too many possibilities with this with this simple cardigan that I can't not wear it anywhere you want to wear this. I mean, you can wear this from going out somewhere fancy in the evening with heels and a skirt, uh, just dress it down with like wide leg jeans, skinny jeans, trousers, wide leg trousers. I would consider flipping this around, wearing it so it's high up here. And this is what you're gonna see in the back. Like, okay, look at the, look at this. Anyway, I'll leave all the links from the description box below so you can see the sizes that I got. And I have a code for you as well, and I'll leave it for you on the screen. And I'll leave it also in the description box below. Let me know what you get. It's sick. Oh my God. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where are we going? Oh, so, oh, this is so good. Okay, right, now I'm gonna get the rest of my day started and I'm later on I'm gonna get Michael up here to show my best of worst of 2024 which for you is going to happen right now. I like this. <laughs> what? Your texture. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
The one and only is here with his broken toe. Broken toe. It's down below. Just can't see and I can't yeah. really lift it He stopped. Much. He ran. He was running and he stubbed his foot really hard. So hard that he broke the toe. So we were the little one, though. New the Year's Eve. One. We were in the hospital together because of the toe. And the doctor had to manually realign the, the bone. No medication. Anyway, so, oh my gosh. Let me stop uh, waffling so the bit you've been really waiting for which is the best and worst of the past year 2023 i wanted to have michael's to get his opinion on it this video is inspired by cassie the one and only cassie two dollar signs i saw when she did it and i thought it was brilliant so cassie full credit goes to her i will leave her video in the description box below anyway so i'm going to go in no particular order this is going to be and i literally have them here hanging and here on the floor um, these categories are bags, shoes, outerwear, um, sunglasses, dresses, skirts, all of it, more or less. Yeah, yeah. That, I, that I got during 2023. So I'm going to ask Michael's opinion on what he thinks. And I don't know. As of rec as I press record, I'm return going to find it all. out. Just return it all. I'm going to find out what he likes. I just pick from anything, right? Uh, I mean, it's up to you if you want okay. to go by. Okay, I'm not going to go by category. All right, you're just going to randomly yeah. pick. All right, so go for it. let's just pick, we'll pick like about four or five of see, I already best see. and four right or now, five my of eyes worst. Are scanning over there. Your eyes are like <laughs> the, me, the dog. Let me move dog over here and think somewhere else. Squid Games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your eyes are like a... <laughs> okay, so let's, let's start on a high note. So what was <laughs> one of your, what do you think for me was one of my, again, you're looking over here and here, all of it. Out of, of my, everything, out of what do one, I think is your there's, best? There's going to be one, no, there's going to be more than one. It's not the yeah, ultimate top course. one, there's going to be a few. So what was one of my best purchases? Let's there's, pick bags. There, there is one ultimate. Okay, oh. Oh, wait, we'll leave that one till, you know, a bit further along. But in terms of bags, let's just do bags, because I do okay. see a few. What was, do you think, one of my best bags of 2023? Hmm. I think probably the most practical no, well, okay. How well, I say best it? because it, it's a great bag, but at the same time, it's practical. And that would be the Dior. Oh! The so little you, baby Dior. You're going to give it to the Dior. Actually, yeah. this is there's a size smaller than this. So this is not the Okay, sorry. This, this is the baby. This is just the... The teenager. Teenage version, I guess. But anyway, Why? I like when you wear it. It's really nice. I find like the hardware on it is kind of versatile. It works with gold and silver. It's not like... It's sh they call it champagne gold, so it's um, light gold, so it looks yeah. like both. But it's cool. I actually like it. And when you wear it, it's cute. You know, it's like a, it can dress up, it can dress down. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Because I actually agree with this. I, I think also that the Dior, uh, Lady Dior bag is one of my best buys of last year. It's my first Lady Dior bag, and I'm glad I got it in the color white, because I've always told you on my channel that white is a neutral I mean, it literally goes, look at that. <gasps> See? <laughs> it goes so well. Oh, okay. So that's one of my best in terms of bags. What was one of my worst? Hmm. If And that's written at everything over there. That's what I got last year. Hmm. Well, see, there is no worse. There is this one, this one. <laughs> there is this one. Look, I'll just point. I'll just point. Really I'll point. There is this one. Yes. There is this one. And oh. there is that one. Well, all right, now I'm already disappointed because the one that I couldn't see, you know, is my ultimate favorite, 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 favorite bag that you have. It's right here. No, I couldn't see it because it's like laying down and because it's laying down, I can't see the hardware. Oh, so, come on, say it. Come on, say it. The Alexander McQueen bag. Okay, oh, let's get oh, it here. Bomb. Round of applause. Here we go. Michael is picking. So is this, okay, that's one of the best of last year. Oh, full disclosure, this was actually gifted, was gifted from I mean, the I Alexander think it's a McQueen big, team. But it's so cool. It is amazing. I'm so, so, so <laughs> proud gonna, to have know, received this. So happy. Out. It's gorgeous. All right, yeah, like, look, 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 <laughs> this. Let me come in closer because Michael's sitting down because of his toe. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just absolutely love this bag. See, um, I missed it. I didn't, it's so I didn't nice. see it over there. Again, it's also a bag that I can easily wear. Um, it's so I nice. love it. It's so different and it's the only black bag that I own that has silver what, hardware. Both yeah. those bags are very different that I chose. Yeah. In the sense that oh. they both deserve to be like 
They are. They're both the best bag purchases. Like, I mean, you still have Well, this wasn't, bags. like I said, this was not a purchase. But, bag but we're of, including... Let's call it bag of the year. Bag of the year, okay, goes to... Bag Alexander of the year McQueen. goes to Alexander McQueen. According to Michael. Best purchase goes to... The Lady Dior in a size small. There you go. Highly recommend this bag. I'm really glad I've popped my Lady Dior cherry and I've hit the ground running because I've been wearing it. Because I do wear this a lot and I'm really glad because you never know when you buy a new bag you've never had before. If it's gonna, if you really are gonna wear it, you wear that one. And I wear them. I wear the crap. The crap out. That so that's good. Okay, so that's great. All right, so let's go to shoes. Best. We'll do best and worst. So wow, for shoes, and you can pick more one. than one. Wow. You know why it's tough? Because I love the Pradas. Okay. Um, well, like, let me know. Love, love, and I know. Like, Hold which on. Pradas. Let me let let I'm me. I'm pointing at the black Pradas that are down on the floor. Let me show because they don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So hold on. Yes. So. Because I'm looking down on the floor and I'm scanning, and what I can see are these. So I was referring to these. They're so cool, and I know you're gonna probably think like, "Wow, they don't. They look really funky." But like when you put them on, they actually look really, really. They cool. look really. Do you know what? They don't even. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Mm. But you know what though, that outfit, because the pant leg on those things, you can't it's... see anything when she's wearing those slippers. But <laughs> anyway, you want to show these shoes off when you wear them. They're cool. Yeah, that's true. You want to wear like a like a cropped straight pant. So this, look, I'm still this shows. I'm still okay, yeah. so this is what, um, honorable mention or one of the best? Uh, definitely one of the best for sure. Okay, so it goes to the um, Prada, I think the Derby kind of loafer. One of the best for sure. All right. Now, I will say this. I'm not crazy about the color, but I know Karen likes it. When she wears it, it does work. But this isn't your opinion, don't... But I like the shoe style itself. Again, it's Prada. Oh, okay. So... I don't know why. I seem to like Prada what, shoes. What am I picking up? I noticed. Tell me what I'm picking the, up. The greenish color. Oh, the green. Oh, you mean these ones? Like the yeah. marigold? Yeah. I just... Oh, really? I so dig the design on the front. It's like... It does look really cool. I just love the detail and... You would think it's a little bit sort of, what's the word? Weird. Odd. Um, Different. Like kitschy or something like that. Like it's trying to be something, but it's actually a cool design. It's, it is. I actually like it. it uh, yeah. I know when I first saw them, and I remember when you first tried them on, and I thought, wow, that's very strange. But then when I saw you <laughs> actually style them, I was like, wow, that actually works. Yeah. I see how this, this is cool. What? Oh, Cool. Hey, yeah. She's good at styling, Amy. What, what could I say? Oh, thank you. Oh, I love them. And I know they're not everyone's taste, but they have like a retro, a, a modern take on a retro silhouette. That's the why I was drawn to them. They remind me of the 1960s. And I like the fact that it's like a flat as well, but it has that sexiness of a heel because it's pointed. So those, both products. Those boots are just, I know you just got them, but those boots oh, are God. so cool. <laughs> This I mean, is, honestly, I don't know why I really This is like the in. ultimate, well, honestly, docks. These are docks. <laughs> Look at the, oh. you can kick some serious ass with this. <laughs> I just, honestly, I just got these. So I don't, they shouldn't really be included, but Michael wants to include them. Michael wants to include them. Do you know what? They have a, they this needs so to come cool. off. I haven't even they taken have, the sticker. Show <laughs> them the, show them the side loops, the catches. Oh my God, I can't believe. The... There's like a sticker on them that they need to come off. Can they see? Yeah, yeah, they can see. How cool You like those? Yeah. It's funny, my stepdad, when he saw them, he said, what are those space boots? <laughs> so yeah, look at that. Really yeah. cool, kick-ass Doc Martens. Those, those are cool. I love the massive platform, but those can't go in. But we're gonna, obviously we just showed them anyway. So what was one of the worst then? And it's only because it's not my style. I'm not crazy about the- What do I pick up? The little black ballet looking thing. Okay, let me go grab them. Here we go. Yeah. I know ballets are like the thing and you girls These. like the ballets. Not everyone does. <laughs> I don't know. They're just not me. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I know that I, I find they come in and out of style though. Yes, you are correct. I mean, at the moment, I think that ballet flats for 2023 were trending mm -hmm. in terms of a shoe category. They really came back and everyone and their grandmother's child, son's dog's niece was coming out with a ballet flat, their own version. Mm -hmm. um, Chanel, which these are, have always had these though outside of whether flats are in, ballet flats are in or not, they've always had. And I think these are at least 
This so style for classes. Chanel is at least 20 years, at least, probably more, this category for Chanel. All right, but so five years now. Sure, Doesn't matter. The there you go. Exactly. I'll pull them out and they'll still be relevant because it's like a classic shoe. It just was trending a lot last year. Okay, so this for Michael was one of the not so good purchases of last year. At least we got that out of the way. Let's move on to uh, accessories. Accessories outside of bags. So, we, which can, is sunglasses. Can we start to the first or the, go on? I'll, I'll the, the worst. The worst. Okay, go on. In my opinion, tell me what to grab. I, I don't know. I, I think there was just a fetish. No pun intended. <gasps> oh, <But>. I know. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I'm grabbing it. All right. So, um, I'll, I'll let you speak. I'll let no, you speak. no. I've already spoken. There you go. There we go. Look. Does it fit? <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, honestly, there you go. I love it. I know. You, well, listen, you make it look good, but you ain't I never going to see this. me put one of those on. They're, they're, people might start thinking different things. Hang on, <laughs> but with the black on black. <gasps> wow. See? Look at that look mm. on Michael. No, but look. Look at look. Look here. I look frightened. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. So, Michael is going to say a big no-no. Sorry, there's hair attached to it. To my harness, my rubber harness that I absolutely adore. I wore it a lot during Fashion Week. It's such a great piece to wear, like layered over t-shirts, um, dresses, you name it. I love it. I think it's such a great harness. I love harnesses in general anyway. Um, all right, so that's... She made it work. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for you, that was a... That was a... Wah, wah. Yeah. So I don't know any other accessories, but I will say... I love Alexander McQueen sunglasses. <gasps> you do. And they're not Those silver here. ones are so good. We'll insert here the silver glasses that Michael has been wearing. And they are now literally yours at this point because you've <laughs> worn them for so long. But he loves those glasses. Everyone knows they he loves those cool. glasses. I do like them. Um, okay. So what do we pick next? Shall I move on to coats or shall I move on to these items here? Like... These clothing items. Yeah, let's move on to these items. Okay, so the clothing items, best and worst. Now, there's only four. Uh, right. It's it's. Uh, let me just let you guys know what he's looking at. He's looking at one, two, two skirts and two dresses. Now, I have actually got um, wide leg. Oh my god! How could I have forgotten this more? Oh my god! Trust me, there's a lot more, but we're. I can't you, believe. She's narrowed it down to just a few. I can't believe I forgot. Look what I forgot. I know. Uh, well, I can See, already tell you. I, I can't believe I forgot. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So. Um, There's not enough cold days in the winter for her to wear all of her coats and outerwear. All right, so, right, we'll go with, let's just go with, yeah, okay, so he, now I feel better. Oh, hold on, I just found something else. This, okay, so, all right, so let's just do trousers, because, all right, you hold these. <laughs> these are by Louis, uh, no, no, these are by Loewe. Loewe, yes. These and are I the ones, you, you remember these ones, yes. when I got those in Paris. These are the outlet. So there's those. So we're going to go with trousers, because I love trousers. So those, and then we've got these massive wide leg ones by Hanifa, the black-owned designer. You've seen these on me. They I are have. gigantic. So I you'll have. hold those. And then we've got these by uh, Philip Lim. These were gifted and I absolutely love them. They're gray wool, also wide leg, but the black Hanifas are the widest of all. Nice. And then this is by And Other Stories. You've seen me in these. I wore these during, during at Paris as well. Yes. Super long. So out of the pants, they can't see the wow. one behind. Well, all I can say is... Let's hold up all the pants. The coolest ones are the Hanifa ones. All right. So the Hanifas win. Yeah. The coolest, coolest, because the, Cause I the, mean, look at that. Because of that badass cut. It's so cool. They're so huge. I well love done. Them. Well and done. then worst. And then, well. If there is there, what's doesn't have to be. Is there I wouldn't worse? call it worse, but maybe the end of, you know, it's just because they're more practical. But I do like an honorable mention on the way there, because they're the pretty yeah. cool. These, these look so much better on. Yeah, no hammer um, appeal. But when she came out of it, I was like, wow, those are cool. 
Ooh. Yeah. And then she ended up getting them in two colors. That's how cool they are. And I got them in two colors. Yes, because they're cool. But yes, because they were also, I think, 50% off and an extra 20% oh, yeah. off. He gave you even more. An extra 30% off at checkout. I was like, okay, wrap it up. Wrap yeah. it up. <laughs> that, uh, was, that was a hard sell, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, while we're putting those away, yes. can you pick? Do you want to do oh, here on this side? I pick. Dresses. Best. Best and worst. Best is the crochet. Yeah. Ding, 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 so nice. It's beautiful. Look at the details of it. It's absolutely stunning. And the bottom of the sleeve, look at that. The way that's like fans out. Show the back. It's amazing. Even the, even the back detail, as small as it is and simple, it's really nice. And I actually wear it back to front. So this is the front. So I like to wear it higher. And then this is at the back. So you see it scoops down. This has got to be at least 20 pounds of material. It's not. <laughs> it's not it's not as heavy it's heavy but it's not that heavy it's, it is heavy but, but okay so that's one your this you is to me that's not oh yeah i have to fix it yeah it's, yeah okay so that goes as one of the best yes okay I love it. anything here okay. the worst well I, I could already tell you i'm not crazy about this but maybe i haven't taken you to the right place to wear it doesn't matter you can say if it's the worst in your opinion i, I wouldn't call it the worst I think it's we need to we need to go somewhere so you can wear it. It's this skirt that I got, and it's vintage, and it's just like a sort of olive green taffeta material, with this kind of black I don't know netting here. Okay, anyway, it's it's like a really yeah. full. Because I know you. Kind of goes with the top. I do because know. of the black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do really know noticed. you. If we found if I took you to a nice place. You can... Okay, so People. but but Michael's thinking possibly yeah, under the area of but let's, not, let's not, put this so, in not the, so much. Yeah, but not so much. Okay, so um, we'll round this up. Do you want to do sunglasses, or you don't have an opinion either way on this? <laughs> I already told you my favorite ones. Oh, but that's but anyway. yours. <laughs> but oh right, they're mine. They're yours now. Ah. But in terms of ones that I acquired, okay, okay. which those are cool. These, I actually like those. These. I like the bigger these, glasses on you. These, there's also Saleron as well, the, these, the gold flat Saleron ones, but I think they're not included is it here. These that fit you really cool. Let me see. Oops. Yeah, it's and there's these. these. I think it's these that look really cool on you. You can put them. I see you put them on. Yeah. <gasps> they look good on you. This is where I question whether or not she's lying to me. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wow, they actually look really good on you. All right, well, there you go. Well, they look, they do look really good on you. If I recall, I want to see how these look on you. No, they look great on you, honestly. I actually think they look better on you. It depends on what my hair looks like. They look cool on you. So, it, yeah. it really is about I like the way they look on her. These. They look cool. They have interesting kind of sides. They're almost like made for you. I feel like that about yours on these on you, but okay. This is what best or what, what do you want to put this as? Because you've you, you pointed these out. Yeah. Okay. So it goes to the Gucci sunglasses that have this interesting side that you can see right there. They are gold and metal combined for the framing. Sorry if there's hair attached. That was not supposed to be there. Um, all right. So um, and then lastly, I think we're going to go to outerwear i feel i personally don't think i made a bad choice with outerwear this year um there are one two she killed it one two <laughs> three four coats let's just say she killed and there it, are like, two just jackets drop the mic so we know the winner don't even go over there and try and pick through anything no i am going to now i am for, for you because you, you can't see because it's all black back here the burgundy the burgundy. Okay, so Michael is picking. That's the leather one, right? This is not. This is burgundy wool. This burgundy is black wall. leather. Oh, see, now I'm confused. I'll bring both. You know what? Oh, my it's God. It's the burgundy I'm in love with. Okay, hold I'm on. I'm just not sure if it's the Because people long... don't know what you're referring to. Right, so this one is the one that has the big shoulders, which actually looks really cool on you. Can they see? 
They I, can. I, I know they can't see me. I'll put it, I can even put it on, but oh my God, it's heavy. And then now you have this one, which isn't as heavy. This is just kind of like a black trench. This isn't the one that I'll I I'll insert thinking. pictures of me in this so you can see what it looks like on. But I'll tell you what. So it's either it's, this one. It's not this one. Oh, it's not this one. It's not this one. Okay, so, so let's, let's, let's pull that back. Yeah. But you can grab that other burgundy one there. Okay, hold on, hold is, on. That is going to be the winner. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so in terms of outerwear as a whole then, it goes to this one. The That's Saint Laurent leather jacket. Yes. In this beautiful kind of rich oxblood wine you, the color. The leather on this is incredible. It is. It's your, I mean, I wish there was... Feel a vision. Is anybody feeling it for me? You because choose. this flipping thing is heavy. So I'll take that back. And but you I take this do love. Hold oh, it right oh, here. Oh, oh, the got hanger. Got, 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 got it. Got it. Well, speak. <laughs> the leather on this is incredible. It just feels. Oh, this is cool. Oh my goodness. The shoulders. I've never seen this on you before. Oh yeah. What does it look like? You like it? You look so wide. You look like one of those American footballers. You know that they have like the built in whatever they wear to make their shoulders big. And kind, then, of like, kind of like that. And then they have yeah. like, <laughs> we even come like this now. This is fashion. <laughs> this is that. That's fashion. So I have built in shoulder pads you say. Do you know what? I've never seen what it looks like. On to see else. how it looks like on someone and it's gorgeous mm. but the leather the leather is it's, oh. is like whenever anyone I, I, it's one of those things that i think when whenever i wear it it's just one of those things that someone always compliments me um when i'm wearing it it's just like it's like silk just taking it off it is it, it just it's i've never felt a jacket this soft before this truly was like a a, a, an incredible purchase for me. And look, I, how, oh, look how it just fits you. It's just... That's the winner. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. <gasps> I understand why it's the winner. It's sick. It's just... Anyway, I'll be buried in this. Put in my will. I love it. Okay, so this comes as being the, the... It's so funny, I thought you'd pick that one, the bat wing. But no, this one beats that. And, but that's... Listen, runner-up, right there. I thought of the runner-up was the, was the one you just held, which is the purpley wool coat. That's not runner-up. So this is first place. Yeah, well, see, man, you mess up. They're all flipping good. Okay, so they're all... Okay, he's... Okay, the, uh, he's referring Trust to... Me, but you had I'll me pick, show you... She had me pick the, the winner. There's I'll, the winner. I'll show you on the screen the one that we're talking about. It's a black... Oh, bring it over. It's ...bat good. wing coat. Bring it, bring it. No hanger appeal. And I say no... <laughs> not that it doesn't have hanger appeal. It, it doesn't. Looks, it actually it's looks... It's just... You're not going to... It looks like a normal jacket. It just looks hanger. like... Oh, what is this? But you I have to put understand. this on. It, yeah, it it's on one of those it. that you have to put, you do have to put it on. Yeah, put that um, on. I should have done that ages ago. Why did I not do that ever since? Oh my god, sorry, you were seeing like half us half, half of us. This is so much better because you can see more now. Okay, so this is the one. I love this jacket I from also, the back. It is I call it a coat personally. Sorry, coat. That's I'm not it. sure if they can see. That's it, yeah. Just spin around. It's great. I feel like I'm about to like lift off from a cliff. Yeah, show it's, them from the front. It's though. an incredibly Open made your arms from the front cut. So they can see. Yeah. It's just almost like an origami cut to it. There is no hardware on it at all. No zips, no buttons, no holes. It's just all material. And it's super warm and it's so it's chic. I like this. It this just feels really nice. It's chic. It really is. So, but you, it's again, hard. you picked it's the jacket, Listen, you picked I, the leather jacket. The leather jacket is the winner, hands down. So nice. It's the softest leather ever. Oh, so good. All right. It's not even made for me and it slides on like silk. It does. It's beautiful. Okay. So I think, I think we're good. So that is it for the video on my best and worst of 2023. Yes. Yep. Are there any honourable mentions again of anything else that yes. I've shown? There is. It hasn't hasn't something you've shown. I can go with me. 
All right, so Michael also has something that he's going to add in, but before we do, do not forget the Urban Revival, what I showed you earlier, this. I'm already, I already know I'm going to be wearing this during oh, Fashion Week. That is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm, this that is, is such a cool. it's really cool and it fits perfectly and I'm wearing it with wide-legged just jeans. It's just perfect. It's, oh my gosh. Anyway, do not forget Urban Revivo, okay? I'm gonna leave the code for you on the screen and check out the links in the description box for this and everything else I showed you earlier. And we're gonna show the last thing, which Michael, I mean, uh, to me this video is done, but Michael has, he's requested- I have an honorable mention. Okay. Go on, as I'm- It's my honor. Anything so else? I'm gonna mention it. <laughs> Any other stuff? Here it is. I'm gonna hand it to him. All right. So hold it, hold it. Yes, hold it. The hanger. Okay, I got it. Ready? So what do you want to say about it, though? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna show oh. them, and then once I show them, then they'll know. This is the best coat ever. Careful. Careful, you're walking in a broken foot. <laughs> so back, back to the chair, since I can't walk much. Um, this coat is so flipping cool. Anyway. So this is for I you. This. This and is I mine, was, by the way. I yeah, will say, this is, mine. this is Michael's, in my opinion, his best buy of 2024. It is men's Saint Laurent. 2023. 23, correction. Men's Saint Laurent coat. It's uh, basically a take on a duffel coat. Super long, Love massive. It. it goes monk, all the way to the floor. Monk-like hood, as you could see. Honestly, when he puts it on, all I can hear is uh, Darth Vader. You know, <laughs> Luke, I am your father. No, that is hands down your best buy. I remember when you bought this in Paris. That looks f gorgeous on you. It was that good. That good? That good! <laughs> and it has no hanger appeal. So I don't even know why or what made you even try it on. At first I thought it was like a traditional pea coat, but it was only when I put it on I realized the cut was completely different. And I was like, actually I kind of like this. And then the essay like took the hood and pulled it up for me. And oh, you kind of had it like, you know, halfway. Yeah, not covering. And I just kind of pulled it forward and it like fell flat forward. And I went, oh, I actually like this. Too late now. You tried it on. It's like, oh, oh no, you shouldn't have tried true. it on. It's Absolutely dress stunning. And it works casual. It does. It works and, both ways. And I've been so. with Michael when he was wearing this. And every time guys compliment you yeah. when you wear this, this coat. I just love it. Something it's beautiful. beautiful. It's the, the cut of it is superb. So the quality is is ridiculously good. Um, it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful and well done. I'm so glad you got this. And mm. I, I and I love this. Look, so you can close it yeah. and make it like mm, there. So oh, that is our video. I guess it's ours because you threw in yours too. Best and worst of 2023 in terms of luxury purchases. Um, do not forget, like I said, the Urban Revivo code. I'll leave it here on the screen for you and in the description box below. That is it, my loves. Um, I, this was fun. Thank you, Cassie, as well, for the inspo. And don't forget, her video is, is there. And I'm done. You can see what her best and worst was. But I will see you, as usual, as I always say, between this Friday and next on TikTok and on my Instagram. Probably see him as well at some point because he always loves Maybe. popping in. As you can see, he's quite comfortable being in front of the camera now. So I try. Yeah, you don't need to. You used to, but now you don't need. Now it's effortless. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.